not know it was supposed to storm like this. Oh, man! I wish I'd have been a little more prepared. I'm coming, I'm coming. I, I had to get my all dried off and oh, I got my makeup refreshed. My hair's good. I think I'm ready now. Chief Force, could you tell us a little bit about emergency management? What do you guys do? So we're kind of behind the scenes of the department. And one of our major goals is to have plans and prepare them. And we drill on them, exercise with a lot of our operational partners. And then we go back and redo the process again. So this team is in charge of all of those things. And I guess everyone has their own jobs, right? They do. So we have Not Weather Joe, who is Costa. My job's pretty unique. I have a lot of different functions that I fulfill. Um, the first of which, being National Preparedness Month is what we're talking about, is weather monitoring. So I am responsible for keeping track of all the information that gets pushed out from the state level, from the National Weather Service, from the National Hurricane Center, local meteorologists, area meteorologists. It's a lot of different information that comes in that we kind of have to keep track of and sort through and aggregate um, to make sure that we're prepared as the county's Department of Emergency Services and to push out to you guys, the citizens of the county. And one of the ways that we push out that weather information is through our mass notification system, which is called Everbridge. If you haven't heard of it, you should check it out. And basically the way that we use it here in emergency management is we push out urgent information and alerts to you guys, the residents of the county, and we can also use it internally for our own staff. Really anything you can think of, the county has a plan for it. And so my job function is to routinely review those plans. I get to do a little bit of everything and I get to meet a little bit of everyone from every department. So if I haven't met you yet, I hope I get to meet you soon. Um, and with that, we're going to kick it over to Disaster Deb. Hey, y'all. I'm here to teach you community emergency response. And that means being prepared. You want to sign up? Hit me on the website. Love to teach you a class. Let's go. So Debbie, a lot of people are used to seeing you out in the public. What are, what are you doing in that role? So we are actually going to be pushing out a Know Us Before You Need Us campaign. And that is really all about learning what the Department of Emergency Services has to offer. So part of my job in the office will be to educate everyone in the community from uh, small to old to everything in between. I am here for your community service. So I want to be out there um, meeting your needs. If you want to learn how anything emergency related, basically, how to prepare um, and plan ahead. And one of the most important things about planning and preparedness is probably training to Absolutely. get that all right. And Absolutely. I have a feeling that might be where Maria comes in. As the training coordinator, I help onboard new employees and I make sure everybody's certifications are kept up to date. And we do a little bit of community outreach. We taught some CPR. And I even have taught the police department and the sheriff's department a few classes. When it's evacuation time, will you know your zone? It's as easy as ABC. Check out the website for more information. Well, I think we just really want to make sure that if you have a need out there in the community, if there's something we can help you plan or prepare for, that's what our team is here for, and we're happy to do it. Just reach out to us and uh, be safe out there. So much information today. Go to their website and find out more, and also visit all these other wonderful websites to get more information about everything that our emergency management team is doing in the area.